Our chef today actually knows a thing or two about changing habits for the better. Philip Dell is not only an award-winning chef and a competitor on Chopped, he is also a competitive bodybuilder and what? power lifter after Ooh. losing, get this, 92 pounds. Holy cow. Amazing. Congratulations. Thank you look much. fantastic. I feel amazing. You so an answer this question for me. What made you wake up and say, I I'm going to make a change in my life, I'm going to change how I eat, I'm going to lose this weight? Because that seems to be the hardest thing is getting started. I opened the curtain in the shower and saw myself in the mirror and saw the double rolls going over my waist and I was like, "This, that's it. It's gotta stop. It's gotta stop right now. And that was it. Changed my diet completely and started the ball rolling. All right, well change our diet. What are we making today? Today we are actually gonna make a, uh, a sesame crusted sea bass or a black cod, anything that's firm. Oh, um, this is Chilean sea bass. Mm. It's great in this area. And this is actually one uh, dish that I used on chopped. And so I've already got some uh, Julienned um, asparagus. asparagus and kale, Tuscan kale. It's a little tender. Superfood. It's absolutely amazing. Kale. And then what we're going to do here is we're going to actually make the crust. And we've got sesame seeds. If you guys want to mix this together, sure. that would be awesome. Absolutely. And then I know this doesn't sound very healthy, but it's pork rinds. And that's because. Pork rinds. Okay. Wait a minute. How does that work? <laughs> the, the judges had. Did the, you say pork rinds? The judges had challenged me to. Uh, refine the dish a little bit. Ah. Uh, this is what I'm doing, and um, I had pork rinds in my basket, so we're, that's good. Okay. And, all right, and we've got the um, we've got the sea bass mm -hmm. here, and we're just gonna kind of coat it. And I've already started my pan with some uh, sesame oil and a little olive oil. A mix of the two? Olive? A mix of the okay. two, and I've got some uh, just all-purpose seasoning. If you wanna can season some, yeah. yeah, absolutely. We can just put some on pinch. there, absolutely. What is this one on the end? It's a mixture of onion and garlic powder. Lovely. Okay. All right, and then I've mm. already got it hot. Mm. There it is. So oh, as you can, you, can, you might be able to see, you gotta be careful, of little pops here and there, but it's all good. And then as it, I would mm. say about a minute, it kinda depends on your oil, you have to watch it. Um, as it starts to turn golden, then we'll just keep turning it over and over and over again. Seems and the great, great thing about this is that it's, it's an easy dish, there's not very many things to do with it. Uh, I'm just gonna season up the vegetables a little bit and um, kind of give those a little extra toss. Uh, you don't need to overcook your food. People have a tendency to overcook their vegetables. Most men tend to not want their vegetables because they had them overcooked when they were a kid. Right. Uh, and I say men because that just seems to be the case all the time. Are you, Mom, you were a great vegetable about cooker. The vegetables I'm not going to let Philip insult you, Mom. Not, you, not at all. You broccoli really well. I, I apologize. But uh, what we're looking for is kind of al dente, like we like our pasta with the Absolutely. vegetables. Still a little bit of crunch to them. Exactly. And just remember that, you know, they're not going to eat it right away anyway. It's going to be a couple minutes and carry over cooking. We like the heat to kind of distribute. Can I ask you also, do, the longer you cook the vegetable, does it lose nutrients? It does. Right, okay. If, when you, as you can see, these vegetables are nice and bright. Mm -hmm. That's perfect. Mm -hmm. If they start to turn a, a little bit more on the... Um, gray side that you've basically overcooked them at that point and the that. nutrients are pretty much gone. Okay. What about All right. cooking fish though? That's so tricky. I feel like you have to have just the right level of heat. You know, I'm so not that you don't burn the yes. outside, but you do get it to cook yes. all the way through. Yeah, yeah, I have the I same problem. With that. It's one of those things that, you know, I get that asked a lot and when I teach mm -hmm. classes, um, you just have to start learning to see when things are done. Okay. And in this case, because it's such a thick piece of fish, I actually like to I wouldn't call it cheating, but in the industry we like to turn the oven on and we start to par cook things, and then we stick them in the oven. That's, uh, that's excellent for entertaining. So you too. get your, your marks from the skillet, and then you cook it all the way Absolutely. through. Absolutely, and as you can see, okay. it's nice and golden right here. It's amazing. Mm, okay. And then I've got a, a nice, uh, just like a drizzle of a sauce that we're gonna make. If you wanna put just a little bit of soy sauce there. I'm gonna do that, but we're, we're gonna take a quick break. We, we're gonna have another segment here with uh, Chef Philip. We're gonna be back after the break, 